What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So as you can tell by the title, this video is about how to do good as a free player on LMS. I'm not sure it's that title, but that's pretty much the moral of the video. So basically, there is some sites where you obviously can get the upper echelon and get a little bit more of a boost in LMS if you're running as a free player. So let's get down to nitty gritty. We will be saying things in different orders and that, but I will try and cover most of the things and obviously we didn't cover some things put them down in the comments and explain it a bit more if i don't cover a certain thing that could help someone okay so it's waiting for it low we're not going to play a game i'm just going to go through the basis of the board and how it can work so currently we're at 78 so 77 78 and 79 are three arenas where you have to leave one obstacle on the board right it first starts i believe one obstacle on the board when you hit 64 and you have to do it but once you beat 64 if you beat 64 you get to use two reveals and two blocks right and then up until 77 you're still using two but you have to leave one obstacle on the board following up from the ones you left before you get what i'm saying so it's the same as 64 but it's added obstacles to make it the same and once you get to 60 uh once you beat 79 you get to use three because then it follows up from 64. It's basically exactly the same. But obviously, it's just added obstacles, right? So, basically, the way I would do this is two ways. You can either use all your hearts, then use your reveals, and then use your blocks, and then try and play for luck. But I, what I would do is I would use one set of reveal, so that's three hearts gone. Well, not three hearts, so three obstacles gone off the board. Another one, which is another three, so that's six, of course. And then take down the four hearts, so that's ten. So in other words, you've got one block, which is 11, another block, which is 12, and obviously that would leave you one obstacle on the bolt. So that's the one you've got to try and avoid. So that's what I normally do, is use the two reveals at the start. When I'm at earlier rounds, I don't. But when rounds I have to leave an obstacle, I would do that that's the method i would do it but my kind of strategies is i would do this but i'm not playing this is literally how i would base and i'll give you a quick insight of what i'm thinking so i'll go one reveal two reveal right that ball is a bit eh. but my plan now is i will try and avoid all corners right sometimes you pick two standard corners but it's precise moment let's just say for argument's sake avoid corners right until it base off of how the board's looking so avoid the corners that's it simple as just avoid them um sometimes base if we're basing off two corners i would say maybe that one and the top left and bottom bottom left but you just base it off that just leave them avoid them with sweet multipliers you can use but that varies on if you want to you know what i mean so that's the lms side of it done right that's the side of it but you're thinking how do i get reveals and blocks they're tough because we don't want to be paying for real reveals and blocks every week right this is the way i do it i haven't been doing it this one but it's two ways to get reveals and blocks. well there's a couple of ways but two ways are the quickest ways pvp which is currently chamber that's obviously a way. Pick them off the board. Or contracts. Contracts is a good way to get uh, reveals and blocks. You don't always get them off the board, but they do come. You can pick them. I feel like the last day they do butcher them and raise the odds of them, make them harder to get. But that's just that's just me. It's only theories. It's not confirmed. But I think it is. So that's what I think. Go for reveals and blocks from contracts if you have them. And it really helps to speed up the process. It honestly does. I also have another theory. Don't know if it's true, but it's not exactly confirmed. But when you have less reveals and blocks, they seem to come off the board quicker. I don't know if that's the case. You know, it just feels that way. It could be wrong, but I feel it is that, right? So what I as I tend to do is I tend to buy the daily only one day so it's 400 a day on 10 reveals 10 blocks but as I said you don't have to necessarily buy that that's optional because you still can do your grinding on um, uh, PvP or contracts you still can do that so that is what I do, but you can obviously do that if it's optional. I do only 400s. I don't buy reveals and blogs. I only do that. But the best methods is 
this is the plant is at get to 10 reveals 10 blocks right when you get to 10 reveals 10 blocks i tend to and then use your free packs and then you can maximize them to 12 each because if you do it below you are cap out you are cap out and you couldn't do it so 10 uh, 12 each and then if you have the free pack so it's 10 reveals 10 blocks use them after or even before the free packs makes no difference as long as you're 10 each on both and then you get 20 22 and if you have a quest use it after the quest as well don't leave elmes till the last day don't do it honestly guys don't it's the most stupidest thing ever if anyone does it they're fucking wrong honestly they're wrong the thing is you leave it to the last day right it's gonna for one you're missing out on matches you could have played right you're losing out on you think if you work out the four daily so say 10 it's four days 10 20 30 40 we work out maybe a t um you got 10 added you know because you're going to be saving them up so 50 and let's just say you're doing the free packs let's say three a day so let's just say give and take 20 so that's about 70 70 reveals of blocks you're getting right you could be getting a lot more than that if you actually play the games don't leave it to last last day don't be lazy if you really want to get the card go for the card and the moral of the story is about LMS. It's all about balance decks. Yes, it, honestly, you can do it without, but it makes life 10 times harder. Honestly, balancing of a deck is crucial. You can't edit your LMS deck. No. Basically, to improve, you have to get a card off the board or whatever you get from packs etc etc and it has to be an upgrade of the card that is currently in your deck so an example if i get a wrestlemania 35 pro it will be an upgrade of Asuka, which my deck is not 100 percent balanced because i've got this fucking weird bitch in my team boom right so <laughs> that's why i want to get rid of her but i'm not quite there yet but once once she's there i'll be full balanced but obviously new tier coming out it's not going to last long so that is basically the moral of it try and if you've got like wrestlemania 35 pro single gothics neons give up honestly it's no point there's no point just play saying guys pay pvp money in the bank new tier next wednesday work on that you know what i mean work on going to walls but that's the end of the day that's how it works out so i'm not sure i think we've covered pretty much everything um ranks it's don't listen to any people right as long as you can get a decent rank you're happy with fuck anyone else honestly guys it's about you it's about how well you can do it's everyone has different ways you know especially in the rooms of 64 and the 70s etc etc and the basically the hard rooms we have to leave obstacles on the board they're always tough right it goes on pot luck like i've had ones where i've took 10 plus attempts on 64 and i've done this one second attempt you know what i mean sometimes it's just luck it all depends on the board and i do use a thing where i use logic i try and see like maybe if there's hardly in the bottom row i think there would be one on the bottom row you know it don't always work that way but sometimes using a bit of logic sometimes does help honestly it does people says it's wrong it ain't honestly it doesn't always work but sometimes use a bit of logic and honestly it does help you know just think about that it does depending uh little tips uh always run king of the rings when you're doing lms because you get the free um you get the free picks um quests when i do quests obviously make sure you do the quest but as I, as I said again, if you're running, make sure you use them on top of your use them on top of your uh, ten, so you get you maximise them up to fifteen or whatever the quest is. You maximise them up to the limit of what it is, and obviously it makes them make gives you more. Because obviously, if you do them when you've got let's just say six, you're going to go up to eleven. Get what I'm saying? You, it's the same adding number that just means you got to grind, but then you're going to get a free run for from 15 to 10 without having to grind again because obviously you do 11 you're going to go back down you know what i'm saying so it's it always maximize what you've got that's the 
key thing. Always maximize. And before we end it off, I just want to say you can get cards without spending. You can. Honestly, it's doable. It is doable. You know, buy the 400 daily if you can, if you've got the cash. But without, the, 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 basically, to cut a long story short from all the video, basically, to get an LMS card, the best thing to do is just grind money in the bank or not money uh beforehand months maybe weeks beforehand to get your contracts up make sure you're prepared i'll say at least 12 12 plus maybe 12 13k you could do yeah you know don't bankrupt yourself from it though 13k utilize your contracts honestly it helps big time money in the bank contracts because it speeds up because it's four picks four pick four picks and then get your limit play wild get them done repeat you know what i mean keep doing that's what you got to do just keep doing that cycle and honestly it bloody helps so that is going to be it if you do have any questions if it's something i haven't covered put it down below in the comments of course put it down below honestly i'm here like to answer any of the questions uh, about lms you know i don't care what anyone says at the end of the day it's doable as a free player Sometimes ranks do vary depending on how well you can do, but it is doable depending, of course, on balancing of decks. That's the crucial key word to this video deck balance. That is very crucial. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. I've been rambling on for like a while now, but I'm just trying to help you guys and help you understand LMS. And it is a terrible event, it ain't the best event, but we make do with what we get so thanks for watching drop a like if you did enjoy please subscribe guys you know we're almost at a k you know we've got to get ourselves up there boom boom because there is a giveaway at 1k there is a giveaway coming oh yeah i'll see you guys next time peace out